Each year, the Beef Improvement Federation recognizes a commercial farm or ranch for its dedication to improving the beef industry at the commercial level. The Commercial Producer of the Year Award has been presented annually since 1972. The award recognizes commercial producers for their dedication to improving the beef industry at the commercial level. BIF member organizations can nominate producers for the award. A committee then evaluates the nominees based on long and short-term goals, record-keeping system and implementation, breeding system, selection objectives, and other aspects of their management system. The evaluation also considers the leadership roles of the operation in the industry and their influence as a role model and embodiment of the mission of BIF. Nominees are included in the BIF Commercial Producer Honor Roll of Excellence, viewable on the BIF website at beefimprovement.org. The awards for the BIF Commercial Producer of the Year are sponsored by Drovers. We thank Drovers for its support of our award program. The finalists for the 2024 Commercial Producer Award presented in alphabetical order are Finco Farms, owners Jim and Linda Fenton, manager Clay Cooper, Floral City, Florida. Jim and Linda Fenton, founders of Finco Farms, have a long-standing involvement in Florida agriculture, beginning in the citrus industry and expanding into the strawberry business, all the while maintaining a cattle herd. As markets changed and the citrus industry took a hit, the Fentons quickly pivoted and capitalized on the opportunity to expand their cattle operation. Through Jim and Linda's innate ability to adapt, proficiencies in long-term planning, and visionary mindsets, they focused their efforts on the acquisition of fallowed citrus land and revitalized it into pasture land for their increasing cattle herds. This provided opportunities for growth, and they now operate on multiple properties in Central Florida as well as in South Georgia. For more than 30 years, the Fentons have always pioneered the use of cutting-edge technology in production agriculture and have applied it to the 2,000-plus head of commercial Brangus cattle, 100 club calf cows that provide projects for local youth, and more than 300 registered Brangus cows that supply seed stock for their own herd as well as cattle producers across the U.S. Finco Farms focuses their efforts on being a progressive, data-driven cattle production operation to produce a high-quality product and capture information to not only improve their own herd, but also helps propel the beef industry forward. Within the operation, every animal is tracked individually, DNA tested, and all feeder cattle are retained through the production chain all the way to the harvest. At each stop of the process, data is collected and analyzed, allowing for sound, data-driven management decisions to be made within the herd. Finco Farms was nominated by the International Brangus Breeders Association. Paxton Ranch Owners and Managers John, Jessica, and Joel Warren, Stapleton, Nebraska. Paxton Ranch, located in the Nebraska Sandhills, is owned and operated by John and Jessica Warren, along with their son, Joel. The ranch was established in 1933 by Jessica's father, Chester Paxton, with the purchase of 640 acres near Stapleton, Nebraska. The operation now consists of 40,000 deeded acres and 10,000 acre grazing permit in the Nebraska National Forest near Halsey, Nebraska. Originally a Hereford operation, the family began using Red Angus genetics in the early 1970s, and by the mid-1990s, they were exclusively red. The 2,000-head commercial Red Angus herd has a strong maternal focus, especially important in the operation's heifer development program. The family exposes 85 to 90 percent of their heifer calves for 23 to 30 days starting June 10. They use a 25 to 1 bull to female ratio with an average 75 percent conception rate. Each year, around 400 bred heifers are retained from the middle cut 
with the goal of moderating frame size to minimize maintenance requirements. Paxton Ranch manages market risk by marketing through several venues at various times of the year. For the past 15 years, they've consigned bred heifers to the Cross Diamond Cattle Company production sale. The top group of feeder heifers are consigned to the Superior Livestock Auction, Bighorn Classic, each year. Other feeders are sold to Dara Feedlots, where the Warrens have maintained a 40-year relationship. The Warrens' primary focus is to sustain a profitable ranching operation and make it possible for the next generation to carry forward. Paxton Ranch was nominated by the Red Angus Association of America. Roth Farm and Ranch, owners Norman and Cindy Roth, Cammie Roth, and Colton and Caitlin Roth, managers Norman, Cammie, and Colton Roth, Sterling, Kansas. Roth Farm and Ranch began in 1899 with the purchase of a quarter section of farm ground southwest of Sterling, Kansas. Today, 125 years later, Norman and Cindy Roth, along with their daughter Cammie and son Colton, are the fourth and fifth generations to operate at this location. The family business consists of a 250 head commercial Sim Angus cow herd and a small registered Simmental herd, as well as a 2,600 acre dry land farming operation. The Roths select maternally oriented Angus genetics and crossbreed with terminal Simmental bulls to capture the value of heterosis. The spring cows calve in March, spend the summer on native grass pastures, then winter on Milo Starks, weak pasture, and cover crops after weaning in October. The calves are backgrounded and marketed at the local sale barn in February. Twice as many heifers are as needed are artificially inseminated to Angus bulls each year. Half are retained for their own cow herd, with the remainder being sold as two-year-old pairs in a local female sale. A small fall herd calves in September. The Roth family produces most of their own bulls from their registered Simmental herd. Those not retained are sold private treaty. Continual improvement is the cornerstone of the Roth's operation. They strive to be the best stewards of the land and animals God has entrusted to them, and they are thankful to make their living caring for His creation. They don't have the biggest operation, but they want to be one of the best. Roth Farm and Ranch was nominated by the Kansas Livestock Association. Again, congratulations to all three outstanding finalists. This year's winner, who will be joining the elite list of BIF Commercial Producers of the Year, is Finco Farms, Floral City, Florida. Congratulations to Jim and Linda Fenton and manager Clay Cooper.